is on the subject information theory and coding in this lecture video we are going to discuss on uh, problems on information uh, content first problem a pair of dice is rolled simultaneously the outcome of first dice is considered to be x and the second is y three events are defined first event p is x comma y such that x plus y is exactly divisible by 3 q x comma y such that x plus y is an even number r x comma y such that x plus y is equal to 7 which event conveys more information justify your answer with numerical calculation we'll see the solution uh, first we'll try to uh, a list out that is find the information conveyed in the above problem we need to first find the probabilities of event so let us uh, consider that s is a set of all possible events given by uh, s is equal to so pair of uh, dice are uh, tossed x and y so we are going to get uh, possible events as uh, uh, 1 comma 1 uh, 1 comma 2 uh, 1 comma 3, 1 comma 4, 1 comma 5, 1 comma 6. The next set of events might be 2 comma 1, 2 comma 2, 2 comma 3, 2 comma 4, 2 comma 5, 2 comma 6, 3 comma 1, 3 comma 2, 3 comma 3, 3 comma 4 and so on. So total possible sets of values of dicing a two dyers uh, with the name and x and y will be 36 possible uh, values. Uh, next uh, uh, we will define the event P now. So P is an event such that X plus Y uh, is exactly divisible by 3. So we need to pick out of this 36 possible events such that uh, X plus Y should be divisible by uh, 3. So we will get 1 comma 2 then 1 comma 5, 2 comma 1, 2 comma 4, 3 comma 3, uh, 3 comma 6, 4 comma 2, 4 comma 5, uh, 5 comma 1, 5 comma 4, 6 comma 3 and 6 comma 6. So the total possible events here uh, for the event P will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, uh, 12. So I can write now the probability of uh, this event P to be uh, we have the event as uh, exactly divisible by 2 which we got it as 12 and the total possible events is 36. So I can write the probability of event P to be 12 by 36. Similarly we will see the event Q. Uh, for this event we are going to list the pair of dice such that uh, it should be an even number. So 1 comma 1. So 1 plus 1 is 2. So we are going to pick 1 comma 3, 1 comma 5. So all these possible events. So if you try to see this events Q, I will have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. So I can write the event um, Q to be 18 uh, by uh, total possible value is 36. So we are going to get the probability of event Q as um, 18 by 36. Next we will define the event R. Now R should be an event such that x plus y uh, should be equal to 7. So we will try to list. I cannot write 1 comma 1 because it is less than uh, 7. So we will try to list and I am going to get 1 comma 6, uh, 2 comma 5, 3 comma 5, 4 comma 3, 5 comma 2 and 6 comma 1. So what might be the probability of this event if I try to list the R event? So how many uh, events we have listed out here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Right. So we will get the probability of event for uh, R as uh, 6 by total possible value is 36. So these are this will be the probabilities now. Since in the question it is not given, we are going to write the probability that is we are going to first find the probability. So the probability for event P will be 12 by 36, probability for event uh, Q will be 18 by 36 and probability for event um, uh, R will be 6 by 36. Now if you try to see this or if you try to add up all these probabilities, the summation should be equal to 1. Is it correct? So 12 by 36, 
plus 18 by 36 I am going to get 30 by 36 and if I add this R event I am going to get 36 by 36 which will be equal to 1. So the probability of P as I told you it will be 12 by 36 probability of q will be 18 by 36 probability of event r will be 6 by 36 is it only the so much we need to solve no we have got the probabilities now now i need to con measure the uh, information and i have to check which event will convey more information as uh, we have discussed earlier uh, lesser the probability more will be the information so which event is going to have the less probability here it is nothing but uh, 6 by 36 so I should get I of R that is information content for the event R should be more compared to the other two so we'll try to solve it uh, so as the probability of event R is less it should convey more information this statement can be justified by considering the self information of event P Q and R so we'll try to measure the self information formula given is i k equal to log to the base 2 of p 1 by p k so probability or information of i p will be log 1 log to the base 2 of 1 by probability of p log to the base 2 of probability of p is 12 by 36 so i am going to get 1.584 bits then information contained for the event q will be log 1 by p q that is probability of event q which is 18 by 36 so we will get it as 2 bits the last one is i r that is information content of r uh, so log to the base 2 of 1 by pr log to the base 2 of 1 by 6 by 36 so log to the base 2 uh, 36 by 6 which we are going to get it as 2.584 now as i as discussed earlier lesser the probability more is the information so 6 by 36 was the least probable value out of 3 and uh, if we see the answer here information 2.584 is the most uh, more uh, value compared to the other two so i can write or we can mathematically prove that IR is greater than IQ greater than IP as per the probability of event given. Second problem consider a source emitting two symbols S0 and S1 with probabilities 3 by 4 and 1 by 4. Find the self information of these symbols in bits, decits, and nats. Uh, so the probabilities of two symbols are given. Uh, so probability of S0 is 3 by 4, probability of S1 is uh, 1 by 4. So the probabilities are given. So what we need to do is we need to uh, find the information. So we know IK is equal to log to the base 2 of 1 by PK if the unit is bits. So first question is regarding bits. So we'll substitute the probabilities P of S0 which is 3 by 4 we'll get 0.415 bits. Then probability of uh, second symbol is uh, 1 by 4 will substitute here we are going to get it as 2 bits. So the information in terms of uh, bits is over. The second one we have to consider the uh, information content in decits. So decits means the base should be equal to 10. So ik is equal to log to the base 10 of 1 by pk. We will substitute the probabilities here that is 3 by 4 we are going to get 0 0.124 decits. Similarly, for the symbol uh, S1, uh, substitute the probabilities as 1 by 4 and uh, base as 10, we are going to get it as 0.602 decits. The third question is uh, we need to find uh, uh, information in terms of NATS. So, information in NATS means the base should be equal to E. So, IK is equal to log to the base E of 1 by uh, PK. Uh, where base is equal to E, we are going to substitute base E and substitute the probability, we will get the answer as 0 0.287 uh, nats. Similarly, IS1 that is information contained for the symbol S1 is equal to log to the base E of 1 by 1 by 4, so we are going to get it as 1.386 uh, nats. So, all the cases it is true that lesser the probability, more is the information content the base is irrespective uh, but the, uh, theoretically i is inversely proportional to 1 by p uh, we'll find uh, the relationship between hartley nats and uh, bits uh, how to find or how to derive this particular uh, relationship so we know that i is equal to log to the base 10 of 1 by p in terms of hartley where base is equal to 10 i is equal to log to the base e of 1 by p if it is nats i is equal to log to the base 2 of 1 by p if it is bits 
Now, from equation 1, we can write 1 hardly is equal to i divided by log to the base 10 of 1 by uh, p here. Okay, so we are going to just write it in this particular form which is equal to now I want a relationship between Hartley and Nats. So what is I in terms of Nats? We are going to substitute I in terms of Nats which is log to the base E of 1 by P Nats. Now uh, as per the log function we are going to substitute the values here. So 1 by 1 by P is nothing but log minus uh, log uh, to the base E of P and uh, this log to the base 10 of 1 by p is nothing but minus log uh, to the base uh, uh, 10 of p. So we will just write it. So minus minus gets cancelled. Now log to the base e of p. We will try to exchange uh, the bases here. So uh, what we get is uh, it is it will be equal to 1 by log of uh, uh, p uh, to the P, base p to the e, base of e we are just trying to interchange it because negative sign we can try to interchange and we are going to make the bases as same. So we will get 1 by log p e uh, divided by 1 by log p 10. So log uh, p to the base now what we will do is we will try to since it is 1 by this thing we will try to uh, base are same or we will just try to uh, substitute this. So we will get log p of 10 divided by log p of e. Now since bases are same as per uh, your logarithmic rule we can write it as log e of uh, 10 that is we can take uh, the value uh, here as a base here because uh, both bases are p and p. So log e of 10. So now we can write 1 Hartley is log to the base e of 10. So what we are going to get is 1 Hartley is log to the base e of 10 which is equal to 2.303 Nats. So this formula you need to remember because they might ask directly to convert Hartley to Nats or you can use this relationship to convert Hartley to Nats. So 1 Hartley is 2.303 Nats. Similarly 1 Hartley is log to the base 2 of 10 bits. So which will be equal to 1 by log to the base 10 of 2 bits. If you substitute here we are going to get it as 1 Hartley is 3.32 bits. The next relationship is relation between nats and bits. So 1 nat will be equal to log to the base 2 of e bits. So it will be equal to 1 by log to the base e of 2 which is nothing but 1 by lan 2 bits. So if we substitute we are going to get 1 nat is 1.443 bits. So these conversions are very important when the question is asked to convert from Hartley to nats and nats to uh, bits and so on. So remember 1 Hartley is 2.303 Nats, 1 Hartley is 2, 3.32 uh, bits and 1 Nat is 1.443 bits. Similarly, you can uh, find a relationship between uh, bits and uh, Hartley is over, Hartley and Nats is over, uh, so Nats and bits is over. So uh, any one of the relationship can be used for uh, solving the uh, problems. Thank you.